Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to talk about buzz baits and the choice between just using a buzz bait with the traditional skirt that comes with most buzz baits or putting a toad type bait as your trailer on a buzz bait and taking the skirt completely off. And we're gonna talk about the benefits of, of each way of fishing a buzz bait. But first, I wanna make an announcement. Um, I've start, just started working with fishthemoment.com. Uh, Fish the Moment uh, has a great YouTube channel, obviously. Uh, you, you've probably seen Fish the Moment. They've got some great content over there. They teach a lot of anglers, a lot of different skills. Uh, and they've got a great website with a lot of resources on there. And we're doing something really cool. We just started doing some virtual lessons online. So you can actually book a one hour session with myself or Matt Stephan Fishing or Randy Blockett or even Jimmy Easterling on fishthemoment.com. Uh, we're really excited about it. It is, it, it is gonna be a lot of fun. So essentially you just get to book us for an hour. We get to talk about whatever you wanna talk about, whatever you wanna learn. And, uh, and so that is up and live on the website now. Now, I'm personally uh, going to start booking uh, my openings for for October. Um, so, uh, because I'm going to be in Alaska all of September, so uh, you can go on right now and book me for those times starting in October. Uh, but I am really, really stoked for that. So, go check out fishamoment.com. But let's dive right into buzz baits. So, let's change the camera angle a little bit, and we're going to talk about you know the skirt versus a toad trailer. All right, so here we have the traditional buzz bait right here. For years, uh, you know, all buzz baits really came with this traditional style skirt. You know, it's it, it 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 creates you know a lot of billowing action. It gives a good profile and all that. And this was the traditional way of fishing these these buzz baits, and uh, and it is still a really good way to, to catch fish. You know, you can throw a buzz bait with this traditional skirt right out of the package and do pretty well. Some of the things that a lot of people will do are, you know, just as we do with jigs or, or anything with a skirt, is trim it a little bit just so the, the fish would more or less key in on the area where the hook is. So you could you could uh, customize the skirt a little bit, maybe, um, you know, add more skirt material to, to make it more buoyant and more billowy and, uh, and or take some away to, to create a smaller profile. You, there's a lot of different things you could do to customize the traditional buzz bait but in recent years I think we have found a better way for a lot of different situations for fishing a buzz bait and that is by taking the skirt completely off of the the stock buzz bait that you get in the package and replacing that with a toad style bait okay so this right here is the z-man goat toads this is a really really cool um, new bait because uh, it's made of elastic so it's already super super buoyant which aids in this whole package you know it being a top water bait and everything and it's got this great keeled belly to it uh, it's got these great kicking legs and all that another bait that i use a lot is just the traditional goat this is the billy goat size the goat is is marketed as a um, as a, a kind of a grub a swimming grub um, but uh, it, I, I think it, it really does act like a toad as well and that's really what the the goat toads is based off of anyways so same thing made of elastic very buoyant has those kicking feet on it so it works really good the only thing it doesn't have is that keeled belly which you know may or may not make a difference with a buzz bait since you already have that keeled um, you know a head on it anyways in most situations um, but what a a toad or you know a, a soft plastic trailer really does is number one it adds bulk to the bait so for long making long casts uh, you add a little bit of weight to it without necessarily taking away from its buoyancy in this case you're actually adding to the buoyancy by using the, the z-man goat toads um, and and when you add bulk 
bulk to a bait, especially bulk that, that is, is centralized in a, a compact profile like this, you know, if you had a, a, a bait that was really, really long on a, a buzz bait, it would take away from the opportunity to skip it. But a bait like a toad is so bulky and compact that it allows you to skip this underneath docks and overhangs and things like that, where you could not do the same thing with a traditional buzz bait skirt. You couldn't skip this very well underneath docks, underneath overhangs, and all of that. So guys started throwing a buzz bait with a toad on it, primarily so they could skip it underneath docks. And uh, man, it, it presents this buzz bait, this bait that really gets some vicious strikes from fish in a totally different location than we ever could before. And so that's that's the, the first attraction to using a, a, a toad like this on the back of a buzz bait is the fact that it allows you to uh, skip it underneath things. Um, the next thing that adding a toad to a buzz bait really does is it really enhances the, the buoyancy of the bait in general. So it allows the, the buzz bait to, to get to the surface a lot quicker, especially if you're using a, a very buoyant toad like this one that has a keel. It allows this bait to, instead of, uh, you know, uh, stay under the surface until it finally you know catches the surface uh, it, it jets up to the surface really really quick and planes out very very quickly and you can slow roll it a lot more too because you've got way more bulk and it's allowing that bait to really um, stay on the top very easily so you don't have to reel it fast to keep the buzz bait on the surface you can actually slow roll it a little bit better so um, for for slow rolling situations on the surface Surface, for getting up to the, the, the surface very quickly and also for skipping, um, this is a, a really good way to go. Another thing that, that a toad does is obviously adds more action. So you've got the, the, you know, the churning of the blade and, and that sound, um, but you also have the churning and the kicking of the feet that, that really create a bubble trail of its own and a lot more um, you know, action. And, and that action on the tail can be said to add to better hookup ratio too because those fish are concentrating on this, this back where, where the tails are kicking. Um, but, you know, I don't know if, if uh, landing per hooking percentage is, is one of the biggest uh, advantages to putting a toad on the back. In fact, there's a good argument that um, a skirt may actually help with hooking percentage under a certain situation, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so added action, being able to skip, and, uh, and also, you know, planing to the surface very quickly. Those are all advantages to throwing a, a toad bait as your trailer. Um, but let's go back to the traditional, you know, skirt. So the one situation nowadays, now that I've realized all the benefits of throwing a toad on a buzz bait, the one situation that I like to keep a skirt on a buzz bait, as opposed to using a trailer like the goat toads, is when I need to use a trailer hook. When I'm having a hard time hooking those fish, the problem with a trailer hook with a um, with a, a toad trailer like this is the fact that when you put this thing on, man, these legs are constantly going to be getting stuck in that trailer hook. Um, so I generally do not like throwing a trailer hook with a, a toad, but um, with a skirt, for sure. I'll throw on this Hayabusa 929, which is my favorite um, trailer hook uh, uh, system. Uh, it actually comes with these little rubber you know, uh, uh, beads that you put on the bottom and the top to keep it on the, the, the shank of the hook here. But, um, but yeah, with the skirt, you don't have to worry about any snagging of the, uh, the, the trailer hook because there's nothing really to snag on. So, um, you know, and this is primarily when I'm fishing around sparse or limited uh, cover uh, and I'm not worried about snagging. Um, but yeah, so really the only situation that I, I throw a, a buzz bait with just the skirt nowadays, and when I say only, I might come up to it with a situation that skirt makes sense because color combinations or whatever it may be. Um, but uh, the majority of the time I'm gonna be fishing it only because I need that trailer hook. 
All right, guys. So, anyways, those are the reasons why a toad is 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 becoming more popular as a trailer on a buzz bait, but also why you shouldn't uh, take off all the skirts off of all your buzz baits just yet. Hopefully, this video was helpful. If you're looking for any of these products, make sure you go to 44tackle.com. They've got everything that you need on that website. They're an awesome store and just an awesome company overall. So check them out, 44tackle.com. But other than that, drop a comment below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you out on the water.